The dodo may be forever associated with extinction, but it's certainly not the first to disappear forever. 13,000 years ago, retreating ice and the spread of ever hungry people saw the beginning of a major extinction event that engulfed thousands of species and continues today. The first animals to be targeted were the megafauna, huge, almost fantastical creatures. And when in recent history, the fossils of megafauna began to emerge, people were as intrigued as they were confused. Do you know what it is? A dinosaur? <laughs> No, it's not a dinosaur. Yes, it is a dinosaur. Giant, like lizard kind of thing. I think he's a meat eater. T Rex? T Rex? <laughs> Big koala. The man who can tell us what it is is paleontology curator Andy Current. This animal's called Megatherium. Marvellous name, but all it means is big animal. But it's better known as the giant ground sloth. Just amazing, <laughs> just great. The giant ground sloth was an animal that once roamed the grasslands of South America 10,000 years ago. But ever since its discovery in Brazil in 1789, misunderstandings about the giant sloth have continued. A skeleton was brought back to Madrid and put on display in a museum there. It is mounted remarkably like a coffee table. It doesn't look like a real animal. And that, to me, is the endearing quality of this particular specimen. The way it's constructed, obviously, it's not moving, but it looks as though it can move. And I think that's exciting. Despite its looming presence, the giant sloth was a gentle herbivore. Not really built for speed, it weighed in at over two tonnes. Megatherium reminds me of an old man in carpet slippers. The feet are rather distorted. They're turned over on their side like a man with arthritis. Megatherium was one of the first animals to disappear in the period of extinction that continues today. I fell in love with this thing when I first saw it. As far as I'm concerned, this is the best exhibit in the museum. It's brilliant. 